This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Moment MTW Mini Fanny Sling, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So starting with the materials on this thing, we've got a recycled Kadra nylon, which is a really uh, durable nylon. I'm not sure exactly what sets it apart from different nylon, but all the research I've been able to do on Kodra nylon says it is a bit more durable, and you can feel that. I mean, you can see the texture there, similar to other nylon textures that you'll see on slings and packs, but it really does feel durable. Like it's got a, just a nice texture to it. And it also has, it says a dual waterproof coating. I'm not sure what makes it dual, whether they just sprayed it twice or if there's one on the inside as well. But it just has a really nice feel to it. It's pretty soft, but not soft enough to where you feel like it's not going to be durable. This comes in at just one liter. You can see it's, it's pretty small. It's a smaller version of their other fanny sling. And uh, we, we tested that as well, so if you want to check that out, we have a review on that on our website. But this, as you can see, is very small, just compared to my hand there. It's, it's very, very small at one liter. Um, and you can see that there's not a ton of weight to this thing either. I mean, the strap, really, really thin, and the fabric is pretty lightweight as well. So this overall, just very small, trying to really hit home on that, that this is a very small sling, and you can't fit a ton inside of it, but we will get to go over that in a little bit. So this is the olive colorway. I really like this color. It's very earthy and just a very nice color overall. It feels like it can kind of go with anything, whether you're wearing darks, light, darks, lights, colors, whatever you're wearing. But we have the whole set here. So we've got the olive, which is the one here. Then we have the mustard yellow, which is the same uh, nylon. We have a black one, which is, I like the black because the logo is black on black here. So all of the nylon ones are um, the same color logo as the um, regular pack material. And then we have the, let me make sure I get this right, clay, which if you look online with the clay, it's a little bit brighter in the photo than I think that this is in real life. And maybe the light's not really showing that, but I like this color a lot too. I would say that that the olive and the clay are my two favorite colors. They're very earthy, I like earth tones, that it feels very natural. And then we have last, we have the black ripstop, which you can see here that the logo on this one is white, not black, which doesn't look bad, but I really prefer if you're going with the black to go with the black on black. But the ripstop does feel a bit lighter, like it feels airier and the material is easier to manipulate. You can see the difference in texture between the two there the ripstop material on this one and then just the nylon material on this one. But overall, I mean, you have a lot of options when it comes to these slings. I, like I said, I really like the earthy tones on the olive and the clay here, but the mustard yellow looks really nice too, I think as well. And then classic black, you can't really go wrong with that. And something else to note about the zipper pulls, the zipper pull also matches the pack color on all of the nylon ones, but the uh, ripstop one, you have a orange, zipper pull or maybe a little bit almost red you can see very very vibrant color so it kind of like it's a nice contrast with this one because you have the black and then the white logo and the pop of color on the zipper pull but done talking about color we'll move back to this sling this is a ykk zipper it's a ykk number five uh, it does the job well it's a pretty i don't say small zipper but it's a small length zipper so it doesn't really have that much to do but as i said this material does have a water resistant coating and this is not a water resistant zipper not or like an aqua guard or something like that but it does do the trick i did get caught in like a light rain two times i believe while i was wearing this sling it was by no means like a heavy rain or like a big storm or anything like that but the material which with the coating and then the zipper did the job everything i had inside which is actually everything I currently have inside stay dry and had no issues with that at all. Flipping it over, the buckle here is a Wujin buckle, just a small buckle. You can kind of see it compared to my palm there. 
pretty small buckle, but as you can see, a very small strap and a very small sling. So everything kind of is proportional. So you've got um, small, 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 and it, it just works. You can't really fill this up enough to where the strap isn't thick enough to handle it or where the buckle isn't big enough to handle it. As you can see, I have a lot of material in the strapper keeper right now. If I didn't have the strapper keeper, that material would just be everywhere and that would be really annoying. So I'll just put that back in there real quick. And I think the main reason that I have so much extra material right now is because I did wear this thing pretty tight. I wore it across my chest most of the time and that was the most comfortable for me and it also gave me the quickest access to it. So I think that's probably why I have so much excess here. I'll show you how I wore it in just a moment after I get this back in the strap keeper. As you can see, it not super easy to get stuff in the strap keeper, but it holds it pretty well. Like I, I just, like I think about last weekend, so about a week ago, um, I put that in there and it, I didn't touch it until just now and it stayed. So, but I'll show you how I wore this most of the time. So it doesn't mess with the mic too much there, but I wore it like this. So then I have quick access to the stuff inside. I can grab whatever I need, zip it back up and then ready to go. And it does, I mean, if you're out for a long time or you're wearing a big coat, it can kind of feel like it's kind of like not cutting off your circulation because it's not that tight, but it just feels a little bit t like too tight so you can loosen it, but then it's kind of hanging a little bit. So I really liked wearing it up here. I did wear it on my back a little bit as well when I didn't need quick access to my gear and that was just as comfortable. And then I wore it as a fanny for a little bit as well. It wasn't as useful as a fanny to me I just, I guess I'm not a big fanny wearer. If you like wearing things as a fanny, you probably would like it more. But I really like it wearing it like this too because you can lift it up over your head easily or you can easily access, let me turn a little bit, this buckle right here. So you can just unclip the buckle and take it off, which I think is very handy. But I think to put it on, it's easier to um, clip it up and then put it on over your head. But now that we've covered the outside, we will go to the inside. We just have the one compartment here. And what I use this for most of the time is when I was walking around, like just taking a walk, like we've had some nice weather lately, and I wanted to bring more than I could fit in my pockets without having them bulge up too much. So I would bring like a point and shoot camera or like a film camera, like my Konica Big Mini, or most often I would bring my Instax Mini. So in here right now, I've got my Instax Mini 90. Fits in there nicely this way, or you can also fit it this way. It's a little bit tighter when you fit it this way. You can kind of see it more from the outside. Now it's, of course, not going to want to close because that cord slid over. But it does fit in there. But as I said, you can kind of see it through there. And if you don't have as much on this side, it looks a, looks a little funky. But if it fits your gear, it fits your gear and you can bring it. So I had the Instax Mini, which has a pack of film in it right now, and then an extra pack of film on the side. And then there is a little divider here, so you can put something on the back panel. So I had just a little portable charger, and then I brought a cable so I can charge things with the portable charger. Out of the way a little bit. So looking closer at the inside, it's really basic. You have this larger main compartment here, which is where the bulk of your stuff's gonna go. And then you have this little liner pocket on the back. It also fits a phone back there. I have an iPhone 11 with a Spigen case on there and you can see that there is quite a bit of room to work with. It doesn't have much room this way, but even the, most of the bigger phones aren't taller, they're more wider. There is a, little, a few that are taller, but if it doesn't fit here, it'll definitely fit in the main compartment unless you have maybe like a bigger note or something like that. But I was able to fit my phone inside of there alongside the Instax Mini, the Instax Mini Film, and a uh, cable as well. That was a bit tight and it was kind of hard to close, but that's kind of what's pushing the limits of this sling. At one liter with a big bulky item, especially like an Instax Mini, you're not gonna be able to fit much else. But when it came to fitting a port and shoot or like a little film camera, it, the opportunities are pretty much endless because especially if you weren't bringing an extra roll of film or if you didn't need to bring an extra battery or something and you just had the little camera in there, uh, you have a lot of room around it, so it's not super full, or you can also uh, put, other th put other things in there too, like if you wanted to bring a longer cable, or if you wanted to bring chapstick, put your wallet in there, it will fit in there. 
But overall, very happy with the comfort of this thing. As you can see where the straps connect here, they have these little piece of fabric here that is not directly, like it's not just t connected directly to the body of the sling. It's got this little piece here. And that kind of like hugs your body a little bit, which adds comfort, I think. And also just like a nice transition from the sling itself to the strap. The strap did, when it was, I guess, heavier pack out, you can't really get this thing that heavy considering it's only one liter. It did, if you're wearing just a t-shirt or if you were wearing a tank top or something like that, it did dig in a little bit, but that's not unusual for slings. I mean, especially if it's a sling without padding or if it's like a, you know, a packable sling or something like that. But that was only when I had it as full as I could stuff it and I was wearing just a regular t-shirt. Even a shirt like this, this is a thicker shirt didn't have as much issue with that at all because it kind of just like rests nicely and just was not an issue for me. But there you have it, the Moment NTW Mini Fanny Sling. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.